It's our day crap. Welcome to Poker Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm JP Mestanza, and it's Friday, August 23, which means the latest edition of the Phuket News is now out. Grab your copy at any one of 600 locations around the island. We also have a Russian version. Really? Da! Now let's start with our top story. Yamil the baby dugong that has been under 24-hour care since being rescued from a beach in Krabi last month has died. The announcement was made last night at about 10, 10 p.m. by the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources, the DMCR, which operates the Phuket Marine Biological Center, the PMBC. Veterinarians were performing emergency surgery on the dugong after a CT scan showed it had inflammation and gas in its digestive tract, which led to an infection and broke its blood vessels. The nearly five-month-old Yamil was being treated at the PMBC after it was found washed ashore in Krabi on July 1st and becomes the third dugong to die in recent days after a popular dugong, Mariam, fell ill and died while being monitored by vets in Tran province. A third dugong was found beached in Krabi earlier this week. Yamil is also the 17th dugong to die th this year alone with experts calling for measures to protect marine animals. A Norwegian tourist has been charged with killing a British man after the two were fighting over the Norwegian causing too much noise in his hotel room at 4 a.m. at a resort on Phuket's west coast. Phuket tourist police named the Norwegian as 53-year-old Roger Bullman, who was arrested after the incident, which occurred at a resort in Caron early on Tuesday morning. Bullman was allegedly drunk and causing a commotion at the hotel in Karan, so security came to warn him twice, according to police. At about 4 a.m., the British National confronted him over the noise and allegedly carrying a steak knife to Bullman's room. A fight ensued with police, saying Bullman choked the man to death. Police are now charging him over the incident but he has been released on bail by Phuket Provincial Court. For more on this story, visit thephuketnews.com. After leaving a New Year's party back on December 27th, Wan Chai Pimubon was never seen again, and for eight months, his family had been searching for him. Well, earlier this week, his ankle was discovered at a resort nearby, which led to the discovery of his body in a truck underwater. At about 11 p.m. last night, police were called to a resort at Nakon Rachasiman Province's Nong Namsai district after the discovery of part of a human ankle in a sock. Divers later searched the pond nearby and found a submerged pickup truck with the body of Wan Chai Pim Ubon inside the cabin. Mr. Wan Chai was the counselor for Nong Namsai Tambon municipality and he'd been missing since December 27 last year after leaving drunk, according to witnesses, from a New Year's party nearby. For eight months, relatives had been looking but found no trace of him until his ankle popped up on Thursday, according to authorities. An investigation is now taking place. Phuket X, will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The Department of Marine and Coastal Resources is developing an AI robot to trap debris before it reaches the sea in the hopes of preventing loss of marine life to plastic bags, collaborating with SCG Chemicals for the project. They hope to launch the robots by the end of the year, according to the Bangkok Post, as a prototype was unveiled yesterday at a meeting of hundreds of local partners who are collaborating to protect marine resources in 22 coastal provinces. The SCG DMCR litter trap project is aimed at preventing discarded plastic bags from entering the sea and is guided by a mobile phone signal. According to the president of SCG Chemicals, the one and a half meter long, 1.2 meter high prototype has the capacity to collect about five kilos of plastic per trip and is powered by solar energy with aims to increase its capacity over time to collect over 100 kilos of plastic waste. 
A much larger robot, which uses doors, has the capacity to collect as much as 700 kilos of waste, but it has to be sorted by hand, and 20 of them will be handed for use at 20 locations in 13 provinces, including Phuket and Penang, immediately to Phuket's north. Thailand has been named the sixth highest marine polluter in the world, with over 2,100 tons of the 24 million tons of the kingdom's waste annually finding its way to the sea. GMS Duty Free are encouraging Phuket residents to donate new or secondhand bras to their women's underwear department for female inmates at Phuket Provincial Prison. The project, named GMS Bra Charity, runs until August 31st and welcomes all bras, so long as they are in good condition, with those who donate receiving a 100 baht voucher to spend in the department store's women's underwear department. It's all meant for the 409 female inmates currently incarcerated at the Phuket Provincial Prison. Those who are interested can donate from today all the way until August 31st, the GMS Duty Free Store is located in Katu. Click the link in the description to learn more. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pbcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until Monday, stay classy, Phuket.